Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today we are going to be comparing the laser gun to the ultrasight laser gun. In the most recent update, the ultrasight laser gun received a slight damage buff. And so I thought it would be interesting just to see how it compares to the regular laser and both uh, to see how both of them actually perform. And more specifically, I will be using uh, the automatic rifle version of both of these guns because this is a commando character and that is what I would typically use. So for the test, both of these will be modded at exactly the same. The calibrated capacitor for extra critical hits, an aligned automatic barrel, forceful stock, reflex sight, and a beam focuser. Now the uh, laser rifle, it does 8% more damage than the ultra sight. You can see this does, uh, this is the laser rifle. It is uh, 68 damage the way I have it configured. And the ultra sight laser is uh, 63 damage. Now the ultra sight laser actually fires 20% quicker. It has a fire rate of 109 and the laser has a fire rate of 91. So one does more damage, but one fires quicker. Both weapons have minimal recoil. They have really good hip fire ac accuracy and they have the exact same range and accuracy, at least the numbers. And they both have kind of a low ammo capacity and with as an automatic, they hold 21 rounds, which is a little bit on the low side for an automatic weapon. As you can see, I have the hot rod skin or the hot rod flames paint on the laser rifle. And I did have others to choose from. So the laser rifle does have a few skins. The ultrasight doesn't have a skin and I wasn't able to apply any. So I, as far as I know, there aren't any for the ultrasight laser. As far as levels go, the laser rifle starts at level five and the max level is 45. The ultrasight has a minimum level of 30 and caps out at 50. As far as the plans for the weapons go, they're, they're actually pretty different as far as that goes. The laser plan is a, a random forest spawn, which means any place that uh, a weapon plan can spawn in the forest, it has a chance of being a laser gun. And you also have a chance to get it from the event patrol duty, which is at the uh, prison. The ultrasight laser plan is actually available from Brotherhood of Steel vendors. Now for mods, the best way to get mods for the laser, the laser gun is actually to farm blood eagles and super mutants because they tend to use those weapons and drop them. So farming those enemies is a good way to get guns to scrap and learn mods without spending materials. With the ultrasight laser, that doesn't happen. As far as I know, they don't drop at all. So you have to craft them and scrap them. So learning mods with the ultrasight will cost you a lot of materials compared with the regular laser gun. Now, as you can see, this is a non-legendary weapon. It would be very difficult to try and get two, two weapons that have the same legendary effects. So I figured it would, it would just be easier to test a couple of non-legendary versions of the weapon. Uh, besides that, if you need it to be legendary for the weapon to actually be viable, then it's probably not any good anyway. So we will be, we will be testing non-legendary versions of the weapons. So first up, we have the regular laser rifle and we are going to, uh, yeah, check it out against some blood eagles. Now, one thing I have noticed, let's see, is there one right there, is the hip fire accuracy on these is really good. <laughs> it has pretty much no recoil at all. So, and it does pretty well. I mean, I'm not, uh, this is a VATS build and I do rely on VATS critical hits, but uh, even without that, it actually does pretty well. It's a good manual aim weapon. It does just as well aiming. I was just hip firing there, but it just does uh, pretty well either way, but as a VATS weapon, it does very well also. The downside is the low ammo capacity. It's not that bad when there aren't that many enemies, but if you're facing a lot of enemies, yeah, you're reloading a lot. It can be a little sticky. Okay, next up is the Ultrasight Laser. You can see that it is also not legendary and it is modded the exact same way. And just like the regular laser, you can see that it has Pretty much no recoil and excellent hip fire accuracy. Does have a different color beam, which I kind of like. That's pretty much the only way to tell them apart visually. Uh, unless you put a skin on one, but other than that, they look pretty much the same. I couldn't tell any difference. But they both do really well. I do like the faster fire rate on the Ultra Sight, but yeah, they both perform really well. At least they perform really well on squishy enemies. Let's see how they do against something tougher. We are back to the regular laser rifle for some super mutants. So even without Vat's critical hits, okay, well, that is one of the downsides. We aren't sneaking with this weapon. Let's see if we can hit this guy. So yeah, critical hits will get the job done. This weapon does, I think this weapon performs really well in and out of Vat's. You know, obviously it's not silenced, so it's not the best for sneaking, and it does have a low ammo capacity compared to, say, a handmade or a fixer. 
But even a non-legendary version, this thing will it'll get the job done. So accuracy is really good. The fire rate is amazing. That's that's one thing I like about these weapons. The fire rate is really fun. It's so it fires so quickly. And the reload, so even though it uh even though you have to reload it frequently, the reloads are actually fairly quick. You know, this is uh this doesn't have any legendary effects on it. I do have rank 2 of ground pounder and speed demon, so that does help with reload speed. But, you know, even though I'm in danger, so I'm not getting any kind of sneak bonus, it's still, you can see it kills things really quickly. So this is actually a pretty reasonable weapon. If you wanted to play as a non-sneak commando, you can see it gets, uh, get things done. I didn't, I killed uh, all three of them and uh, still had a couple of rounds left. And we are back with the uh, ultrasight laser for this part of the test. Let's see at distance. That extra fire rate is pretty cool. I like that. Little messy. That was exciting. I do, I honestly, I will say with, of the two, I prefer the faster fire rate of the Ultra Sight. So even though it has a little bit less damage, it's not really, like in practice, I've been switching back and forth with uh, both of these weapons for a few days. And uh, yeah, even though there's a slight damage difference, you really don't notice it. You do notice the fire rate though. It just, it just sounds, I mean, it, I think it looks neat. I do like the color of the beams too. I don't, okay. I don't know why that stopped. I didn't need to reload. I think it was a, a visual glitch. Oh, he almost got me there. I'm still in danger from something. Probably that turret. But as you can see, they... Uh, oh. This makes quick work of pretty much anything. But you will chew through a lot of ammo with this uh, with the Ultra Sight. That is for sure. And, well, actually either one of them. Alright, for the last part of the test, we are going to take out this guy. If I can get a hit in. And they're actually... For me, there actually is a clear winner between these two, even though they perform similarly. So let's take him out, and I will explain which one is the winner and why. So we made quick work of him. That's, uh, yeah, it works really well in VATS. So as you can see, this is the regular laser rifle. You can see by the skin that that's what it is, and there is a clear reason why this would be my pick over the Ultra Sight. And the reason is actually something I haven't talked about yet, and that is contextual ammo. The regular re laser rifle, if you're in daily ops, or if you do something like seismic activity, or even the new mutated party packs, it will give you contextual ammo. And it looks like the Ultra Sight laser right now is broken as far as that goes, and you will just get random ammo from all those things. Uh, I have yet to get any uh, contextual ammo from it, and I used it a lot for a couple of days. I used both of these a lot for a couple of days. And uh, yeah, the Ultrasight laser just doesn't drop contextual ammo. If that wasn't the case, if, if um, ammo wasn't a consideration, say you have unlimited ammo or unlimited resources and you don't really care if you get some back, then either one of these is, is a real, I think they're really good. And if you got a good drop in one over the other, I would use, I would use either one of these without a thought. Uh, and I would, I would make it my main weapon, actually. I think these work really well even as a main weapon. But if ammo is any kind of consideration for you, then the laser is a clear winner. If you found this video helpful, please hit one of the buttons down below, and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.